Hello students, today I am going to take chapter 2 that is major landforms of the earth. Now tell me students what is landform? Landform is any natural feature of the earth's surface. They are natural, they are uneven at all the places. For example, you can say mountain, plateau, plains, lake, valley, etc. These are the landforms of our earth. Now our topic is major landforms and the three major landforms are mountain, plateaus and plains. Now students with this picture I will give you a short introduction of mountain, plateau and plain. Now what is mountain? Mountain is the natural elevation of the earth's surface. It may be narrow at the top and broad at the bottom. And this is our plateau. A plateau is what? A plateau is a flat elevated area landform that rises sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side. It can also called as a table land. And now comes Plains. Plain is what? It is a fertile region. We are living where? We are living in the plains. So, it is a fertile region. There are stretches of large land. Okay? So, this is the short introdu introduction of mountain, plateau and plain that we will discuss later in our Next topic in details. Now students, these landforms are an outcome of two processes. That is endogenic processes and exogenic processes. Now endogenic processes is divided into two. That is slow movement and sudden movements. So first we will discuss about this slow movement. In this slow movement, it is divided into two, that is folding and faulting. Now, what is folding? The phenomenon where two tectonic plates of the earth converge is called a folding. And faulting, faulting is where cracks in the earth's rocks are created because of the different movement of the tectonic plates. Now comes the sudden movements. Sudden movements are volcanism and earthquake. Volcanic eruption, you can say a volcanic eruption occurs when hot materials from the earth interior are thrown out of a volcano. And earthquake, earthquake is the sudden movement of the earth's tectonic plates resulting in shaking of the ground. This is sudden movements. So, endogenic process you understood? Now, next to come exogenic processes. Now, exogenic process is what? The forces which acts on the earth are called exogenic processes. For example, running water, moving eyes, wind and waves. Now, this exogenic process is divided into these four. Weathering, transportation, erosion and deposition. Now, students, with this picture, I will explain you what is weathering, erosion and deposition. Weathering is what? Weathering is the process that breaks down rocks into smaller pieces. And with this, it will go with the help of wind and water. And erosion is what? Erosion and transport moves the sediments downhill to another place. See, those rocks, particles which are broken, get carried away by wind, water and 
eyes and there of deposition deposition is what the laying down the laying down of dropping of sediments that were carried to a new location that were carried to a new location and with what it is carried away with the help of wind water and rain this is called deposition students today you have learned about endogenic processes and exogenic